Welcome to Dollar Tree. If you've ever wondered what could I do with this wood section, don't go anywhere. These five hacks are mind blowing and yes, changed our home. You want pottery barn and you want to do it on a dime. In the Dollar Tree wood section, there are two products that you do not want to pass up. And the first are these mini drawers. Oh my gosh, they had so many at my Dollar Tree. Oh. They can't break because I need them all, <laughs> okay? First up is some high-end organization. And I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sick of plastic. And I'm not gonna lie, you're probably looking at this going, okay, Catherine, this is really gonna look like a cheap Dollar Tree DIY, but I just want you to stick with me and trust the process. I'm also using an Ikea product here. I'm gonna show you this side by side. These are really affordable and we're gonna make a complete restoration hardware dupe. Stay tuned because I'm gonna show you both. And totally optional here is some stain, which you can get really affordably and you don't need a lot. I got an ebony finish and a dark walnut finish. The thing of this video is I wanna give you options and I wanna make it easy. So I took that ebony finish and I did this on all of the Dollar Tree little drawers. This didn't take too long and I don't know about you, but I like to stain at night and be sure you wear some gloves. And then the next day I did the dark walnut stain on the Ikea drawers. Now I did buy several of these and stay tuned because I can't wait to show this to you. One of my favorite hacks is to use this stain applicator. These are only a few dollars and Minwax sells them, but you can see how fast it makes staining. What I really like about the Dollar Tree wood and the Ikea raw wood is that it accepts stain really well and you don't actually have to wipe it off so you can move rather quickly. There's really three secrets to making Dollar Tree stuff look high end. The first is giving it a high end color and the second is doing things like this in mass. We're gonna make something really big. And the third is getting amazing hardware. Also, this is a brand new product. They have these little knobs, which I absolutely love. They have them in kind of a rose pink and all sorts of shapes. This is so high end on a budget. Great deal. I want to know if you've seen these knobs at your Dollar Tree. Legitimately, these are like five or six dollars at other stores. Now I ended up putting these on our buffet hutch in the dining room. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It really plays off of my crystal lamp and the white in the painting above it. And sometimes these items are less than a dollar. My hardware store sells these poles for just 98 cents and catalog drawer poles are less than a dollar each on Amazon. And we're gonna get creative with some of these Dollar Tree hooks. These are from the pegboard section. And normally you stick these into the pegboards, you can put these on a wall or inside of a drawer. But the way I'm using them here is actually for pulls on this wood. You see, I have the beautiful stain. I'm gonna put this together in mass. And because this is metal, it looks so high end. I just marked them off with a pen and then drilled it slowly with my drill. It's an opportunity to get creative. And every option that I just showed you, I'm gonna show you how it looks so we can get a sense of which one you like best. Okay. so. This feeds so easily into those little holes. And because of the shape of it, it actually stays really nicely inside of the box. So I put this box backwards. So that way the die cut pattern, you're not gonna see, it's gonna be hidden in the back. These look so elegant. And you might not know this, but Dollar Tree sells wood glue. And I really like this stuff. I've seen it in a lot more stores recently. And if you're not a fan of the dry time of wood glue, you can also use hot glue, which I tend to do a lot in videos so I can work fast but taking a bunch of these boxes and gluing them together, this is going to give it the high-end look. I can't wait to show you the after, but first. There's a rogue product. Leslie, look. Oh my gosh, these little balls. Look at this. Oh, I love that. This is so cool. I love the white. Oh man, let me know in the comments which one you like. The black is pretty too, but I think, I think this one is what I need to take home. It's oh, calling like my name. That. I feel like the more you pause in Dollar Tree, the more you start to see possibility. A lot of life is like that too, hey? These candlesticks are so beautiful. And some things that are so simple and just $1.25, you can combine in unique ways. And literally everything at Dollar Tree is also in French. Oui, oui. <laughs> oui, oui. I never took French, only Spanish. Si, señora. I love the idea of these little baskets by the front door or especially to hold your flowers. Man, are there some incredible options this year. I've got these baskets hidden all over my house, but you came here to see this wood project. All right, so here is how the Ikea drawers looked as they dried. And on this one, rather than adding the silver poles, I decided to add the apothecary poles. Carson actually helped with this one. He said that this was his favorite project of all. And getting just one of these is so beautiful, especially with that stain. But my friends, what you really wanna do is take a bunch of these, put them all together, 
Holy bananas, this looks so high end. All my front entryway is, is hacks, you guys. All right, so I got these two barn lights from Home Depot, two for $30. You do not need any wiring. I just literally installed this into the wall and then I picked up some puck lights. Now these are really high in my house, so I wanted the remote control kind. You can also get these from the Dollar Tree. And yes, I grabbed some Dollar Tree hot glue and I literally glued the base of the puck light into the lamp. Again, normally this would be wired, but I am doing the hack version because we didn't want to pay to have this area wired. You want a generous amount of hot glue, the back of the puck light, and then this makes it really easy to change out the batteries. This has actually been up for several years in our house. So I just love these projects that I can show you. Like, yes, this stands the test of time and still works. I just change out the batteries every few months and then I can push it to turn on or I can use the remote. I cannot wait to hear what you think. I looked this up on Restoration Hardware and other stores. These retail for upwards of $3,000 and I made it for just a couple hundred bucks. The saving is immense and it is so quality. Maybe you don't have $200 to spend, you just have 20 bucks. Well, that's where the Dollar Tree version comes in and these LED lights. You can put this in a cube shelf. Everyone has a cube shelf. I mean, count the number of cube shelves you have in your home. If you have kids in a closet somewhere, these can be repurposed. And then you can take those Dollar Tree wood little boxes, Set them inside and this is going to give you that beautiful academia look. 12 per cube look really good in mine. You could put all of your office supplies inside of this. You could put small trinkets. If you're a crafter, you make jewelry. This looks so elegant, especially with the puck lights. 100% Dollar Tree DIY, even the baskets. I love these so easy. Anyone could do it projects. Leave this video a thumbs up if you do too. I also want you to grab some of these universal tool hooks, especially if you like that Pottery Barn and Restoration Hardware look. Dollar Tree also sells wood. You can also get this at the hardware hardware store and Dollar Tree does sell sandpaper. I really like spray painting these hooks because they're so rustic looking, giving them a gold color or an oil rubbed bronze color. You can create custom looks to go along with the shelving units that you're making, whatever colors you like. This one, I liked the raw wood. You could also go back and use that walnut stain. I go over all of the screws with a little bit of paint and add a hanging mechanism to the back. I made this in just about 20 minutes for way less than 20 bucks. Another one of my most asked about DIYs is my stovetop cover. And I love having this. You can get some wood from the hardware store and get some Dollar Tree sandpaper and wood glue. Again, you're just gonna give it that beautiful stain. And remember those knobs that I grabbed from the beginning that were just 98 cents? You're going to take wood pieces and put it onto the side of your board. You wanna make sure that this fits the top of your stove. I'm gonna put all of the dimensions in the description box below. Then these poles are top screw-ons and look how beautiful this is. And you may not know this, but these actually retail for upwards of $100 to $120. You can make it for right around 10 bucks. And if you like the super simple DIYs that you can use season to season, grab some wood crates at Dollar Tree. This is one of those really simple ones that you can just glue together with wood glue or hot glue, add some stain, and add beautiful flower arrangements inside. I really like the Dollar Tree floral foam. It's the exact same stuff that you're finding at Michael's. I get some high-end inspiration. This one is from Pottery Barn. It's perfect for springtime and you could do a really fun one for fall as well, depending on your look and style that year. I hope this video gave you tons of inspiration. Be sure to leave a comment down below with your favorite part. My sweet friend, if nobody has told you today, you are enough. I'll catch you soon.